know what's on your mind You think I'm doing wrong Can I say what is real? You're all the only one that got me Me talking crazy I need you all in my space But in your hand Make love on the beach of jet black sand Outside in the rain We can do it all I'll touch all the places he would not Some he never knew would get you high Nothing is forbidden when we touch Babe, did I wanna do All the things you may do do Hey baby, with my mind, my heart, my body I'm funny <laughs> you like that? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I guess right here. Got me. <laughs> Girl, let's talk about what your friends told you. That I'm a selfish man. But need it, baby, I'm late. I still can second with you. Oh. I'll light all the candles all around Show me to the subway, I'll go down Nothing can be sweeter than the sound of making love Baby, when I start, I just can't stop I'll love you from the bottom to the top Nothing is forbidden when we Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Yesterday it was Sunday and Kyra and I um, just went to Target and got a few random things. It's kind of like a little random haul. But I got some crafts for Valentine's and then got um, a towel for like an extra hand towel for the guest bathroom downstairs. I got these little drawer organizers because I wanted to deep clean not deep clean I just I recently just deep cleaned my bathroom like two days ago but I want to organize like deep organize my um, drawers in my bathroom as well as like my cabinets I just feel like I have way too many Sephora products in there that you know how like when you order online and it allows you to add like those free like little mini trials or samples and things like that I feel like I get so many free ones of those whenever I order my skincare stuff. Because I honestly order like lip liner, my drunk elephant, um, like I forget what it's called, polypeptide serum or something like that. The Dr. Strum face wash. And I feel like, and my facial razors, like to shave like any peach fuzz off my face for like dermaplaning. But I feel like that's all that I get from there to be honest most of the time that's all I get I get perfumes randomly or like random products that I'll try but I try not to make it a habit because it's expensive so I um have like so many like free items from that that I'm like I need to go through that see what I can still use and then see what I need to toss because there's just so much of it in there. And it's nice to use them for traveling too. Like whenever I have um, like a trip that's upcoming, which is very rare. I'll use the little mini things for like travel size kind of stuff. So yeah. But I need to organize that. And then we just cooked um, like some homemade mac and cheese yesterday. And that was pretty much it. Um, and then yeah, this week I have basically like a dentist appointment tomorrow I don't really have anything kind of planned for this week so we'll see what we end up doing I'm actually gonna head to the gym because 
I just dropped off Kyra with her grandparents. They're here temporarily while their house is being built in North Carolina. So I'm not gonna have them here like very close where I'm at for much longer. Probably May I think is when their house is done. So yeah, so they spend time with Kyra on Mondays, which is really nice. But yeah, I am going to go to the gym here and then see what we end up doing besides the organizing the like deep clean organizing of the bathroom so. back from the gym i actually stopped at fresh market real quick it was my first time being there yesterday and i went back today because i wanted to just kind of look around i'm like that with grocery stores i don't know but i got some little muffins to put in my little tray thing so i'm gonna show you guys that real quick okay so here's my little tray thing there's one muffin in there from yesterday the other ones are like mini muffins. Actually, you know what? Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay, before I put these muffins on the tray, let me do a little fresh market haul. So, I got these cute little blueberry muffins. Actually, half are cranberry orange and the other half are blueberry. So I'm gonna put these on the little tray in a second. But Kyra loves Pad Thai. We went to a Pad Thai well, a Thai restaurant, and had Pad Thai. Um, what was it like last week? Beginning of last week, and Kyra was eating it up. So I decided, let me make some Pad Thai at home. So I got just some Pad Thai sauce. I have rice noodles already. I'm gonna do cube up little chicken pieces. Got some green onion. Um, we're just gonna keep it in the bag, but some green onion, and then um, dun, dun, dun. I have sesame seeds. That's all it really needs, honestly. I could add some carrots in there, something like that. And then I just got some whipped cream because Kyra and I like it on strawberry sometimes, or on our hot chocolate. It's more so for the hot chocolate. And then just got some raspberries. I wanted to snack on some of those. And then I wanted to try this. Who knows if it's actually good? I don't know. I want to try it. But <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's called, let's see, bubble tea dragon fruit lemonade. And it has boba in it. I like boba. I feel like boba's good. It's like a little, mm, like it's good. But it's uh, cold brew white tea. And then it does have 15 grams of sugar, which is a little bit high. But that's okay because I want to try it. And I'll, I might have it in too soon. I don't know. I don't really know. But I'll try that. You guys know if I like it. But I'm just going to, I'm like, I feel like I should put this one in a baggie. Because, yeah, I'm going to put this one in a bag or something. Because if I do that one and then all these little ones, it's not going to look right. You know I mean? So, let's get these all set up and all cute. And put the other one in a bag. Also, this tray thing with the little glass thing from Target. so cute i just think it looks so aesthetic and then you can just lift it grab a little mini muffin you know i'm just gonna leave it on the middle of the table let me clear off this stuff though so most of my stuff i keep in the bathroom in like these drawers very unorganized i need to wash the containers this kind of it's kind of a mess Here's all these sample things I was talking about. Here's some of them. There's a bunch of other ones. Just like, I like period stuff. See down here, so many random things. And it's like, even like a cleaning bottle. I don't even know why I have that under here. So that is what I need to organize. Under here, it's not really messy. I have like a paper towel roll and mouthwash. And then I need to actually put this in the closet here. I had cleaning supplies that I was going to use and then I realized I already had some of these and that's just hair cutting stuff. So, 
I need to get organized and sort all this stuff. Also, I just have to say oil pulling has made my mouth feel so fresh, so clean. I don't even understand why I haven't tried this before. I think it was just like, it's like, oh, I don't want to switch oil in my mouth. I don't know. No idea. But this is just what I've been using. Um, it was like $9 at Whole Foods. You can get like specific oil pulling like bottle things of coconut oil and mint mix so it tastes better, but this just tastes like coconut oil. So basically what you do is you take like a tablespoon of oil. It melts in your mouth really quick because it starts as like a solid surface. Let me actually just show you. It starts as like a solid and then it melts in your mouth really quick because your mouth is warm. So it just, yeah, melts down. You're supposed to swish it for at least three minutes. I've been trying to do a little bit longer. I want to get close to like, they say even 20 minutes is good. Just do it while you're doing like your nighttime skincare routine, things like that. But that's just the one I've been using and highly, highly recommend. I've been doing it for a week now. Let's see, almost a week. I think tomorrow will be a week or let's see. Six days tomorrow. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend if you have never done oil pulling. I feel like it's just so good for your mouth health. It's supposed to take out all the bad bacteria, things like that. It's supposed to make it whiter. I don't notice a difference yet, but again, I've only been doing it for like six days. So I'm excited to see what my teeth and mouth health will look like in like a month from now from doing it. Like I have, I have pretty teeth. Like I take care of them well. They're like pretty white. Never had a cavity before, but this, this can ensure that I don't get a cavity. <laughs> so yeah, I would definitely recommend this, um, doing the oil pulling stuff, but let's get back into cleaning this bathroom or organizing this bathroom. I think I'm going to start by pulling everything out. So basically in this closet over here, all I have is like restock products, towels, and toilet paper. So that's already organized. I'm kind of stays organized. But I brought this to kind of wipe things down. Same with this paper towel here. Back up. But yeah, I'm just gonna start by pulling, pulling things out, getting organized, and washing these containers. I'll probably bring them downstairs. The reason I like to use these containers is because your cabinets, you can obviously always wipe them down, but if they get water damaged, they're damaged. You can't fix that unless you replace the cabinet. So I feel like if you have water on any of your products, then it's good to um, have these drawers or even just for makeup, like getting that all. Um, that stuff can just like you know rub off or whatever so yeah no no damage yet to these cabinets and that's what i plan on keeping them as because i think cabinets like the inside liner is like a laminate or a vinyl something like that i think it's laminate um and yeah so let's wipe these down and get them all cleared out so that we can start with a fresh, fresh thing. Also, I tried this toothpaste. I don't like the taste of it, to be honest. Anyway, I'm just gonna speed through this because, yeah. <laughs> getting somewhere <laughs> and down to like this cabinet so I'm organizing that stuff and then these drawers I kind of already did I have some new ponies let me see if I can close this some new ponies um just some of these skincare masks that I do little peeling ones mighty patch and then my makeup back there because I rarely wear it <laughs> and then figure out what else I need to put in here 
And then here, we have some skincare stuff that I use daily. Deodorant, little sh like shaving tool kind of things, or scissors. And then the top, we got my toothpaste, um, toothbrush. The oil doesn't fit in here because it's too big. The like cabinets are too shallow. Um, just some tweezing stuff, aquifer for my lips. That's what I use, I feel like now. And then the bottom half is just like feminine hygiene products, which I need to restock on for um, that next time of the month. <laughs> uh, but yeah, working through this, a lot of this is hair stuff, skin stuff, and then see what I need to do. With it. All right, this is what we are looking like now. We have down here organized based on, we got hair care, um, skincare for face, skincare for body, and then just a candle and a little extra bag when I travel to put stuff in. But that's all I have down there. I threw away some stuff that looked like it was maybe a little older or if it had spilled or opened. Everything else is like newly packaged stuff. But like I was saying, most of this stuff down here, free. <laughs> I got to buy it. So, yeah. And then a lot of my daily use stuff, I just keep on the counter. Um, and then this I have up there. I need to find something like cuter to set up. I kind of want to do like floating shelves that would be like right in between the mirrors here. So make it stuff for that. That way it looks all cute and aesthetic and it's not on the counter. But we will see what the end of, ends up looking like. usually like mm, like three to four minutes and they're done so they're definitely that type of like noodle you can't overcook but let me show you real quick just have green onions and then this sauce I seasoned the chicken a little bit let's see if that will focus um, and then just boiling the water for the noodles 